Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you've had a, having a good bank holiday weekend. Yep. Um, had a brilliant day yesterday. Went <laughs> up to um, Whitby. Whitby for the golf weekend they do up there. Fantastic. <laughs> See the people all dressed up. It's absolutely fantastic. We got dressed up. We were it dressed was up really there. good. Had a great day up there. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. So <laughs> anyone, if you ain't been to it, I recommend it. It's fantastic. <laughs> really good. Um, right, I'm just doing a little bit of turn. I've got some of these little kits here. I've got a bottle stopper. Just some bits I got when I was at Turner's Retreat. They're only cheapy ones. So, right, I've got a piece of wood there. Yeah, obviously, I drilled. this. Now, this one is, is weird because it comes with a 9mm thread on that one. I'm not straight. I thought it would have been 8 or 10, but anyway, 9mm. Um, so, I drilled a hole. I've done a 7mm hole in there. And then I just tapped it with just a normal metal metal tap okay a nine mil metal tap i got for mine so i tapped it with that okay and that way when i'm done that's just gonna thread straight in like so and i should just glue that in okay so that's for the bottle stopper and then what i'll do is i'll probably do it as another little video so they're just short little videos i've got a bottle opener okay it's just that's it that's all you get uh again i've got a piece of wood here that i've done which is uh, just a piece of U, six mil. That's a six M6 thread on that one. So I done a five mil hole, and then I just thread. I don't know if I've actually threaded this one. Not yet. I think I did. And then I just use these. Yeah, it's just a. I just tap them like that with a metal tap, you know. But this one's done. I've already done it. So it just goes in, and that's it. Okay, it's not not going to hold it, but it gives you enough that you can glue it. A bit of super glue on the threads, glue it down. Do it quick because of the super glue goes off halfway through. You won't get it in or out. So, just unscrew that. So I've got that bit for that, and then for the cork screw, I've got another bit like this, and I had to do the same. I had to drill a hole just in the centre there, and I've tapped that as well. Okay. And that has this bit that goes in, that bit's going to go into that when it's done. And then the cork screwy bit goes in to there. Okay. They're not fantastic. They're just, they're more, they're not really functionally usable bits. I think that would pull out in no time, but there you go. Never mind. It's what you get on it. <laughs> you pays your money and you takes your chances. <laughs> so, right. Okay. I'm going to do the bottle stopper first. And I'm just doing it with carbide because uh i keep getting asked i had um, questions come through this morning actually about um what sets to use for bowl turning and things like that if you want to turn bowls basically guys if you're just doing spindles then the short handle set type three standard type three short handle set i'm just putting this between centers at the moment all i'm going to do is i'm going to just get it to round and I'm gonna put a little little tenon on the end so I can just hold it in the chuck, okay? I haven't got a, a bottle stopper, mandrel or anything like that. I've got nothing special. Um, yeah, so, I mean, if if you don't intend in really doing any bowls or that, or just maybe an odd one or two to try it, then a short handle set will be fine. If you do any sort of bowl turning, then really I would go for the, the type three set. Because they do the spindles. I'm going to use them for these. These are only little. I could really use short handle ones on here. But I'm just going to use the type 3 set just to do these. If you do bowls. I mean these are handled bowls up to 8, 10 inches. Um, if you're only going 3 inches or so deep with them. Then these are fine. Which most bowls. A lot of bowls ain't that much deeper. If you're going to do bigger bowls than that. Then I would go for the large set. Or as I say. The price. You could go for all three. You know, I'm not naming any one, but you know, some of these other ones, 350, 350 quid for a set of three chisels. Three sets, three sets of three chisels, you get for 265 quid, posted free. So there you go. You could buy one of each if you wanted. But right, I'm just gonna use this today. So I'm gonna rough it down. I'm just gonna use the square chisel and put my face shield on. Lisa's gonna get hers on. And all I'm going to do is just rough it down, okay? 
I'm not going to too tight with it because I don't want to mark it too much. Now I'm using the square. Now if you're just pushing in like this, take your time. You can push in, you can just come along the side. Ideally, just turn it over slightly. If you're not in a rush, you know, you can turn it over and you can go that way with it. One, it'll give you a better cut, but two, it'll make your cutter last longer. But it's up to you. If you want to do it this way, it's nice and quick, take the time, be nice and gentle. you turn and the majority of people turning you will use them flat like that but just always be aware leave enough room to just do a clean up cut so you can just come along here rotate it and just come along to clean it up and all you do is take those marks off like that there and we get a lovely smooth finish well I'm going to put a little tenon on this end Only in a little bit. Now remember I said if you roll it over and go in, you get a dovetail. That's all you gotta do is just come over and go in. If you go in straight, you'll get it. If you just come over like that and go in, it'll put a dovetail on straight away. Okay. And just to show you that, look, you'll see. You see that's a perfect dovetail there all right and it gives you a clean edge here as well so now i can get out of my jaws and i can turn this to a bottle stopper uh, right okay let's take this off oh and that's the that's the finish there look so how smooth that finishes you think that's been done with a skew chisel well it has, because we just rolled it over and we took a, a shear cut. So we just come along like this. But what we do, don't just don't just roll it and come that way. If you can angle your tool back a bit and use the bevel so it's in contact like there, okay? And we come along that way, you'll get a skew finish like that. You'll get a skew cut. Right, okay, let me put a chuck on. Uh, yeah, I want to put the SH1. Right, there we go. Oh. Right tight and a quarter that's it and as you can see we've got, we're right tight up on this shoulder here we're not bottoming out we're in our dovetail we've got the dovetail there we're in the perfect shape okay and you get that by just doing that just roll it and go in and that will give you a perfect dovetail for your jaws okay all right okay i've got to straighten that bottom off because we've got a bit of a squiff on that. So we're going to do that first. I've made sure my hole's deep enough to allow for it. There we go. Right, and now we're going to just bring this down a bit, because obviously I don't need it as big as that. I'm using the round of just turning it over and get a sheer cut with it right now. 
I've got to think of um, how big I want it to be. I reckon I'm going to go for about there. Just using the detail one, just to determine where I want it. Right, I'm going to stop at that, because if I go in too far, it's going to make it more awkward to cut. Now, I'm using the square one here. Uh, oh, hang on, I've got to get a measurement of the... Sorry, stay there. I just need to get a measurement of this end of the bottle stopper. So I've got a caliper set, so that's where it is. Did you get that? Yeah? Right, just so I can check on here, right. I've already gone down too far actually, so I'm going to go back a little bit. Just come in here. A little bit of screw because I've taken it down there a bit, see? So it will really screw a little bit, but if I push in that way, solves that problem. Right, now let me check. Okay, I'm at the right size there. So that's, that's the size it's going to be, okay? So now, we're going to bring this down. I don't want it as fat as this. Just going to shape it a little bit with a square chisel. Bring it just round like that. Now what I want to do, I want to put a little bead on here. So I'm gonna, yeah, all right. I'm gonna take a little clean cut first. That's it. Right, I want to put beads, but I'm gonna use a spindle gouge for that because although you can do it with a carbide, it's not the best with a carbide. I'm gonna do it with a spindle gouge. And all I'm going to do is come from here, roll up, go in, and that's it. I just want to put that bead there like that, okay? That's all it is, a little bead on the end. And I'll just bring that away like that. That's it. That's all I'm doing with a, a normal tool. And then I'll come in with my detail chisel, just so I can bring that away there. Right, now, I'm going in here, bring this down, got to get this shape. I want to bring that down a bit more actually. I want a little bit of a taper on this. A bit more taper, see? Down to that. Down to that bead like that. Okay. I don't want it to be too bulky on bottles. I don't like bottles stoppers to be too bulky for me. See the roll those ones just coming round. Right, okay. Now if you find that awkward to do that, you can do it with your round chisel. If you go up or down, it won't matter with it. Put a little bump there. Right, okay. I'm going to bring some of this back out the way. Give yourself a bit of room here. Hang on, let's get the square in here. Just want to give myself some room, see? So I can get in here. I'm 
follow this curve down. And put like a little button on the top. Right. Gonna be it. I can't go too far with that. That'd be it, I think. I'll give that a little bit of sand in. I'm pretty much committed to that. Now, oh, I want to just do a little, a little undercut on here. That's it, that's why the bottle stop will sit on this edge here. Okay, right now, I want to make a little, another little cut there. I'm not quite happy with that bit there. So just bring the center up for a bit of support. That's it, not too much, don't widen the hole up. Right, and then I want to just come here with my square. That's it. I could sand that to shape, but I don't, I don't want to do it sanding it. There we are, I've probably taken a little bit off that bead now, but never mind. No, there we are. Right, okay, now we'll do a bit of sanding. Right, okay. Uh, I'll leave that there, just for a bit of support. I'm just going to do a little bit of these, just to go up through the grit a little bit. Yep, and then I think that's the next one. Right, okay. Put a little bit of sandy, uh, sandy sealer on it, just to seal it. Right, that's seal it. Shavings on it. Okay. Right, put this down in place. Right, a little bit of sand in place. Done. We've got a kitchen towel just to take the excess off. Not that there's any really. Right, uh, have a little bit of wax.
Mungkin When I'm still use the detail chisel, just to take that off the end. I'm going to move this away because I don't need this. Right. I would normally use a skew chisel to do this, my little skew, but I'm going to use the carbide for it. I'm going to hold it with a tissue so I don't mark it. There we go, it's off. Right. And then I will just finish that end off. With one with my scooters a little bit, like that. And then I will just sand that. I don't know whether I've got a pad in my drill I have. I'll just give it a little. So you can always do it on the sander if you put it on there and do it. That's it, I'll put a bit of wax on that. I've got some on the tissue. There we go, right. Let me just... That's how bottle stopper done. And like I say, I should just put some glue on those threads and then... All we do is... Thread all that in. Hang on, let me get some, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some glue, put some glue on here. I'll take that off. Oh, no, the threads are coming out. Hang on. I've got to get the threads out. They come, they come out of the actual bottle stopper as well. So just let me undo that. It'd be better if I put the glue on now, actually. While I'm putting it in there, because if I keep undoing it and doing it up, it won't go as... Good, right, so that's in there. So I'm gonna do is put a little bit of this, this super glue. Just a little bit on the threads. That's all it needs, a little dab like that. And then you've got to be pretty quick when you screw it up. Yeah, that's screwed up. And there you go. So a little bit of stopper. Okay, so that's our bottle stopper done. So the next one we do is we do the uh, either the corkscrew or the bottle open, probably the corkscrew next. So if you want to see that done, just join me on the next one, guys. Toodle pip. Bye, guys.